Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Ellenbogen, and I'd like to welcome you to the VCU Health Center in Richmond, Virginia. And if you are a internal medicine resident considering where to do your cardiology fellowship, I'd like you to consider VCU. We have a great program here with strengths in clinical research, clinical care, and basic science that cover the spectrum of the various subspecialties in cardiology. I'd really like to introduce you to what I think is one of the best programs in cardiology around. Our fellows who train here at VCU, or what previously was known as the Medical College of Virginia, and at the McGuire VA Medical Center, get exposed to an amazing spectrum of patients with cardiovascular disease. I really want to make one thing clear to those of you who are looking at programs here. This is a program that is about the cardiac fellows, for the cardiac fellows, and led by the cardiology fellows. The cardiology fellows control the conferences, the topics covered, the schedules, and have major input into how the program is structured, changing the program to meet their needs. This program is quite varied in the experiences you will see during your three years of general cardiology training. We have a long history in pretty much every subspecialty of cardiology. With respect to heart failure and heart transplantation, this was the second hospital in the United States, one of the first hospitals in the world to introduce cardiac transplantation. We have a robust program in heart failure with implantation of a large number of left ventricular assist devices, as well as biventricular assist devices, or the total artificial heart, and cardiac transplantation. In electrophysiology, we've been doing cutting edge clinical work for decades. We are one of the first academic medical centers to use his bundle pacing. We were one of the first academic medical centers to do AFib ablation. We started performing that procedure over 20 years ago, and we have been involved in many cutting edge new clinical technologies for mapping of persistent atrial fibrillation. When it comes to interventional cardiology, we have been doing angioplasty from the very earliest times and been pioneers in some of the new interventional cardiovascular techniques, including opening chronic total occlusions. The clinical experience here covers all spectrums of care, including imaging with everything from a 3T MRI scanner, which is completely within cardiology, and virtually every aspect of imaging. It includes electrophysiology, it includes advanced heart failure, and, and of course, interventional cardiac catheterization. The spectrum and exposure to patients with a wide variety of diseases is outstanding. The availability of clinical research and participation in clinical research trials that use cutting edge therapies that will be available in five or 10 years is across the spectrum. We have a well-funded clinical translational research center supported by the NIH, so there are lots of opportunities to get involved in some very exciting research. We have opportunities to be involved in pediatric cardiac surgery, pediatric cardiology, vascular surgery, cardiac surgery, and to do research in all these areas, whether it be the most basic science projects or translational science projects. We really welcome you to Richmond, Virginia, a great place to learn, a great place to grow, a great place to live. We have fantastic cardiology training program, one which will leave you with the skills and the training and the satisfaction of going to one of the best programs in the country. I welcome you to come and look at our program and feel free to ask me or any of the faculty here any questions. Thank you very much.